Hello and welcome to another Igloo Imaging Tutorial. This is a quick one on the Width tool. Shortcuts Shift W and it looks like this sort of strange icon here. You can find it in your toolbar. Um, there it is, Width tool, Shift W for the shortcut. You can apply the Width tool to the Pen tool, the Curvature tool, the Line Segment tool and the Shapes, so Stars, that kind of thing. You can't apply it to the brush tool. We just won't do it. So if you want to follow along, the artboard is 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels high. Um, choose RGB or CMYK, up to you. If you want to copy my um, windows, everything with a tick, and you can arrange it if you press pause in the same way. On Under view, have smart guides and snap to point. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to go to a new artboard. All I've done on this artboard is draw a line, circle, square, and star. Um, if you need help with this, then I've got some other tutorials on the other tools. But for the line tool, if we if we select this line tool and then go to the width tool or press Shift W, um, any anchor point can then be clicked and dragged. Okay, I've got a round cap on this. Yours might look like that when you start, but just under stroke you can hit round cap. Now, anywhere along this path, you can click and make it thinner or thicker. I'm just going to pull this one out here. And then if you deselect it and at some point you need to edit it again, if you go back and select the width tool, you can move your cursor along until you find that alteration that you've done. You can then edit that one. Okay. You've got to be careful you do actually select it because if you do something next to it, you can get a weird sort of, maybe you want that weird effect. Okay, on the circle, if you do the same thing with the width tool, just click and drag an anchor point, then it makes it go above and below the stroke. If you hold option, it makes it go below, if that's the way you've dragged it. Okay, if I just undo that, and if I use the width tool and I drag in and press option, then it does it inside the stroke. That's just a little thing that not many tu um, tutorials cover. Again, with the, the square, you can pull it out from the corner. Looks a bit strange. You can pull it out and press option. It's just going to go out. So that can be handy. Star shapes, <laughs> they're all a bit strange with the width tool. You can sort of pull them in, pull them out. But it depends how you've drawn them, how your strokes are, but you can get some crazy effects. Like I said, you can do it on the pen tool. If you just draw some a quick squiggle and make the stroke bit wider you can then go with the width tool and drag out drag in and that kind of thing you can use it with the curvature tool as well again make the stroke 20 and we can go with the width tool click the end one Maybe get rid of this to a point. Ah, you see, I didn't quite select that end point, so it's done something strange. So make sure I'm on this end point and get that down to a point. So that is the width tool. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time.